when we're meditating, we are trying to concentrate upon God. Now, we can concentrate upon anything, but that particular type of concentration that is placed upon God, that we call meditation. And if we stop and think about God, well, all the scriptures tell us God is omnipresent. God is everywhere, so where do we concentrate then? But since he is everywhere, he's also inside us. So the best place to concentrate that would have the fewer distractions or the fewer distances you might think of to connect with him would be right within our very selves. And so we mentioned this point between the eyebrows, which is called the spiritual eye, has other names. The spiritual eye right here, if we, in meditation posture, lift the eyes to this level, which we can easily do, and then without straining, just lift the eyes and put the inner attention, the inner gaze here. Now this point is a very high spiritual point in the body. It is the center of will in the body. It's the center of concentration in the body. And you will see, perhaps you have noticed, that if you are concentrating very deeply on something, you may even knit your eyebrows because you're concentrating so deeply because this is that center of concentration and willpower. This has also a deeper spiritual significance. This is the point where the Christ or Krishna consciousness manifests in that particular point of the body. More, we can most easily contact it right there in the spiritual eye. So this would be the place to concentrate when we meditate, right there at the spiritual eye. The spiritual eye or sometimes called the third eye at this point between the eyebrows. And it is actually something we see and it has three parts just as an eye does. If we look there, as we said, our eyes are closed after we have meditated. If we are looking there intently, we may see some light. Most of the time, beginners don't see any light. Everything is dark there, but some see light right away. And the light may be of different colors, or you may actually see the spiritual eye. If one sees the spiritual eye, it is a golden ring. Inside is a dark blue part, and inside that in the very center is a star, five points with one point upward. So that is a spiritual eye. So what Guruji said, if you see any light there, look in the center of the light. So this requires concentration to see the spiritual eye. And that's sometimes called the cave of stillness, the cave of the spiritual eye, the cave of stillness, the cave of God. And we want to get into that cave of stillness. Because when you're in that, then you are beginning to perceive these aspects of God. And that's done through meditation? Yes, that will come through meditation eventually. Eventually. It doesn't necessarily always come right away. Although, again here, this you have to take all of these things as potential. Some get it right away. Some get it in the middle. Some get it at the end. It depends on each individual.